Okay, so welcome to, the, to today's session, guys. So our main focus today is uh, differentiating the functions that we've been given here, which are functions of x using uh, the first principles there. So the first question that we're looking at here is y is equal to 1 over x plus 2 there. So first things first, we know to say the formula that we use for the first principles is f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0, we have f of x plus h minus f of x there divided by h like this. So then we need to determine what our f of x plus h is from this function there. So our f of x plus h there, our f of x plus h is equal to in this function here, everywhere where this h where this x we're going to put x plus h meaning that this becomes 1 over here where there's x we're going to put x plus h like this then plus 2. So then for f of x we just get the function the way it is there which is f of x is equal to 1 divided by x plus 2 there. So then the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to get this expression and put it in this formula that we have there. Where there's f of x plus h, we put this expression there. And where there's f of x there, we put this expression there. So then we have that the limit as h approaches 0. For f of x here, we're going to put this function there, which is 1 divided by x plus h plus 2 there minus minus 1 over x plus 2 like this. So then this whole thing here, we don't forget to say it's being divided by the h that we have there, like this. So then we can make uh, a single fraction of everything that's in the brackets there. So we have the limit there as h approaches 0. So the lowest common multiple, or rather the common denominator that we have there, is going to be x plus h plus 2, open brackets, this side we have what? Or x plus 2 like this. So now, this, if we divide this into this, we, we just remain with x plus 2. x plus 2 times 1, we have x plus 2 like this, minus, if we divide this into this, this and this are going to cancel, we just remain with x plus h plus 2 there. So then on top they are going to have minus x plus h plus 2 like this. So then we don't forget to say we are dividing everything that we have here by h there. So then we continue, we say the limit as h approaches 0. On top there we can distribute the negative throughout, we have x plus 2 minus x minus h minus 2 divided by, then down there we have open brackets, x plus h plus 2 rather, open brackets again, x plus 2 like this. So then you notice to say this is positive 2 and this is negative 2 there, so meaning that this will cancel like that, then this is negative x and this is positive x Hence, they're going to cancel like that. So if they cancel, so let's utilize the other part of the board there. So now, if they cancel, we remain with the limit there as h approaches 0. On top, we're going to have negative h. Negative h divided by down there, we have x plus h plus 2. And we have x plus 2 there. We don't forget now, so since everything here was being divided by h, if we change this sign here, the division sign into multiplication sign, this becomes 1 over h. So this side, we multiply by 1 over h there. So on this stage, you notice to say this h can go into that h, so we just remain with 1 there. So then we have the limit as h approaches 0, we have negative 1 on top there, divided by x plus h plus 2, open brackets, we have x plus h 
or x plus 2 like, like this. So then, at this point, we can't simplify anything any further. So what we do here is, where this h we're going to replace with what? 0 there. So therefore, the limit now we have negative 1 divided by x plus 0 plus 2 and we have x plus 2 like this. So then, this gives us negative 1 divided by x plus 2 and x plus 2 there. So then, our final answer, you can just write this since this here is one and the same thing. So it's just the same thing that's being multiplied there. So we have negative 1 over x plus 2 squared like this. So this here is the derivative of, the, of this function here when uh, we use the first principles. Okay, so the next question that we're supposed to differentiate using the first principles is uh, y is equal to the square root of uh, x there. So then, first things first, we need to state the formula that we use for the first principles, which is um, f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. We have f of x plus h minus f of x there then everything we divide by h. So then we need to get or uh, we need to find our f of x plus h there. So what we do here is we say the f of x plus h there. In this function that we've been given there, everywhere where this x we're going to put x plus h. So meaning that this becomes the root of x plus h like this. So then for f of x there we just get the same way that the function is there, it's just the root of x like this. So then, if that is the case now, since we have our f of x plus h and we have our f of x here, we just make substitutions there. Where there's f of x plus h, we're going to put this expression here. And where there's f of x, we just put the root of x here. So then, we have the limit there as h approaches 0. So where there's f of x, we're going to put this function here we have the root of x plus h minus the root of x there, everything divided by h like this. So then, at this point here, we need to work it out in such a way that we're able to factorize h out. So how do we do that? If you look at this here, we can't say h equal to 0 because we'll have a 0 down there, which will become uh, indeterminate when it's uh, undefined if we try to divide into a number. So what we do there is we rationalize the numerator there by finding its conjugate and we make a fraction of itself then multiply by this. So meaning that here we have the limit as h approaches 0 we have the square root of x plus h minus the square root of x divided by h there. Then we multiply by the conjugate here which is the root of x plus h. So the conjugate here will have an opposite sign. So the opposite sign here, instead of a negative sign, we have a positive sign there, plus the root of x there, divided by the same thing again, the root of x plus h plus the root of x like this. So then we continue We have the limit as h approaches 0. So then if that is the case, we start doing our multiplication there. So this term, we multiply by this term and by this term. Again, this term, we multiply by this term and this term together like that. So then, if we do that, you notice to say, when you multiply this by this, we're just going to get x plus h like this. So again, if we multiply this by this, we get plus the root of x and the root of x plus h like this. So the root of x plus h, times negative root x there, we have negative root x, the root of x plus h like this. Then on the last part there, we have negative times negative there, it's going to, negative times uh, positive there, it gives us negative. Then the root of x times the root of x there, we just get uh, x there. We get our x like this. So then on the bottom there, we're going to keep this h, which is being multiplied by this there, we have the root of x, the root of x plus h, plus the root of x like this. So then, 
If you look at the numerator that we have here, this here is positive and this here is negative. Then this is positive, this is negative x, this is positive x. So this here will cancel with this and this positive x will cancel with the negative x there. So then we remain with, so we can just utilize the other part of the board there. So now here you notice that on the numerator we're just going to remain with h there. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. On top there we remain with h divided by, then down there we have h open brackets the root of x plus h plus the root of x like this. So then at this point you notice to say this h that we have down there and the h that we have on top there they can cancel out there or rather we can divide there and we still get one so this into this there we just have one like this so we have the limit there as h approaches zero we have one divided by the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x like this so it is at this point now where everywhere this h here we're going to put zero so then we have now that one divided by the root of x plus zero plus the root of x like this so then we're going to have one divided by the root of x plus the root of x like this so then this and this they're like them so we can just simply add them so when we add those we're just going to have one over two the root of x like this. So hence, this is our solution there.